Here we are again, back into the world of Greyhack. Now, I, um, you didn't see the description for part seven. Had a little bit of an uh, issue there at the very end of that very long, almost three hour long video. I was sitting here playing Greyhack. Um, sudden power outage. <laughs> As I was replacing hardware components in my uh, machine here. So, <laughs> uh, I want to get back into it and um and see if we can replace some of those components and uh take a look at that um i did have a comment from Greyhack gaming on the last part um looks like um the multiplayer world is getting ready for a wipe um, because there's a major update coming out which means um if you're just dipping your toes or, or about to dip your toes into multiplayer as i am uh, you probably want to wait um, at least a couple of days or maybe a couple of weeks um, because all of the, the, it seems to me that the reason for dipping your toes into multiplayer is because of all the player created content and all that cool stuff because there's going to be a wipe that will be gone. Um, so in a couple of weeks that will be returning and um, and then you can give it a shot. So that's actually kind of perfect for me. I'm, I'm considering waiting for the wipe and then just joining everybody else because I also assume if it's anything like other multiplayer games where there's a wipe, um, typically what happens is is that the world is created and then it goes on. There are winners, there are losers, and that kind of a thing. And eventually everything kind of um, settles down into sort of a basic ecosystem. But on wipe day is when a lot of the player base that had abandoned the game before because they were on the losing side of you know RNG or whatever they come back. So I might just join everybody after the wipe and then see the content as it comes out. seems like a good opportunity for that anyway. Um, so i um, going to spend a little bit more time here learning the ropes um, a little bit. Uh, also, the Bitcoin system that I, I saw last time um, during that update is when they'll be added to the public build. Apparently, those are only accessible in the uh, the nightly build, the beta build. So... Um, they're not in the game yet, which might be why I haven't seen them yet, I guess. Okay, hardware installation. That's where we were at. Um, I had purchased... Okay, so I was, I was a little worried with the power outage. This is my first time getting back in the game since the power outage, and I was a little worried that it wouldn't have <laughs> saved any of my progress over that three hours. Um, so, all right. We got to need... I, I don't know how we're supposed to be able to and a hot swap a hard drive here um but apparently we can all right there's my old one and the plot changes the configuration is correct it is necessary to restart the machine so that our systems install the new hardware okay reboot then and while the reboot is occurring i was also working on cheating last time <laughs> which uh again again gray hat gaming if you see this and you don't approve then hurt your eyes um i am in single player I would not do that in multiplayer. Cheating in multiplayer is wrong. Cheating um, cheating on your own stuff is fun. It's just like uh, you know, if you're going to uh, if you're going to modify your own car, then it's fun. But if you modify someone else's car, that's a crime. And also if you modify your car so that you have gigantic headlights that blind everybody else on the highway, then you're an asshole. But if you know this is, uh, it's all about context, yeah? Um, so here, I'm remove this cheat engine over here. Uh, mostly because I can't remember how much money I have. Now, it's also possible that this, uh, this isn't going to work. Um, because I don't know, I don't know anything about the game. I don't know how it works or, uh, I mean, I'm playing single player, but for all I know, there's some kind of server-side validation or something. I, I have no idea. So we are just going to do our best here. So um, I have 67. All right, let's buy something to decrease that amount. And when last time when I did a decrease, it didn't work. Um, so I'm going to... Uh, we might have to play around with this a little bit. Let's buy ourselves a cheap exploit here. And again, I wish I could have tabs. So I could just go back and forth with my bank account, but I can't. Um, let's get a M. We just need something cheap. 
You don't need, you know, 35 bucks. Okay, then we can go back to this site. Okay, our, it did decrease by the amount specified. I'm not going to search for an exact value. We're just going to go with a decreased value and compared to the first scan, next scan. All right, so we're down to 248. We're looking for a value here, 930. And I don't see it. So what does this tell us? Um, well, uh, if we apply the scientific method here, we have a value, and I searched for an exact value, which was 968, um, the first search. I searched for that value because that was the current balance that was showing in our account. So I was uh, searching for that value under the assumption that that exact value as an integer is what is being stored. But when we decrease that value, and I just searched for any decreased value out of the 300 and some odd that we found, um, we don't see that. We don't see the, the, the current balance, 933, which tells us either our first search was faulty, and if it was faulty, then that means that it's most likely the exact value that we're searching for that is faulty. Um, or it means that this value is not actually stored anywhere here. But let's try a less precise scan. We're going to do for an unknown initial value here. We have 329.8 million. Uh, let's again spend some money. And this is going to be less precise, which means it's going to take us... This plane going to take us longer to uh, get to the bottom of this and weed out those results. So here's minus 20. So if I buy this, now I have a choice here. I could search for a decreased by an exact value and put 20 in there, but I no longer really necessarily suspect that it's being stored as a four byte integer. Um, so we're just going to go with a less precise search and just do a general decreased. And we'll do next scan, 2 million. Oh, is it running SQLite in the background? Is that what's happening? Because then that might... I don't remember it doing that. But I, I'm also not no longer entirely sure that I actually looked into it. Uh, I'm going into game files right now. Hey, hack. Um, cause these, oh yeah, sure enough, sure enough. These, uh, these values may not be stored in memory at all. It might be stored in a database. And I do see here, there's a gray back, uh, gray hack DB file. Could be, seems likely to me. Let's see what else we got here while I'm in here. Plugins. I wonder if there's mods for this. Gray hack mods. I think there's a Steam work. Oh, there is a workshop. Um, it's like Chinese translation, Russian translation, Turkish language packs. That's what the workshop's for. <laughs> I'm I'm looking at the. <laughs> I'll just show you. Yeah, uh, Portuguese translation. <laughs> There's actually several Portuguese translations. Is this game super popular in Portugal? I mean, there's obviously several Russian translations, but I'm much less surprised at that. Uh, at uh, at my university, we uh, uh, we have the uh, Computer Information Systems Program, which has a uh, Bachelor of Science and a Bachelor of Arts. Um, Components, not components, but programs, two separate ones. But nobody was going with the Bachelor of Arts program because there was no reason to. It was the exact same amount of work as the BS, but it just required 
any foreign language. And it's like, why would any student take that unless they were already going to like double major in another, in a foreign language. Um, so, um, we uh, made some changes to the BA program and turned it into a security studies program. So now it's a completely different, uh, course curriculum and graduation plan, but uh, we limited the foreign languages to, um, on our campus, we don't have too many options for foreign languages. So the two foreign languages that you can take for our security studies program is Russian and Chinese Mandarin. Um, so anyway, what was I doing? Oh, right. So yeah, uh, we're not going to be able to do this. Um, we're going to need to, uh, it looks like a database. So all this is stored in a database. So uh, we're not going to be able to edit the value here in memory. We are going to need to instead. Oh, that's right. I was checking out the plugins and I got sidetracked by mods. And uh, yep. So here in the plugins directory here for gray hack, we've got the SQL light three DLL and Steam API and unity, 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 unity. Caruso. Hello to you, Caruso. I hope I got your name right. Um, gee, so this games these days, games these days in their libraries. Um, so we instead are going to have to um, take a look at that uh, database. So Cheat Engine is not going to help us here in this case, I think. I think almost, if it's storing potentially storing um, values in the database. I don't see why it wouldn't store most values in the database. I'm also seeing that there's a level zero and a level one file here. What are those? Because I am level one. What kind of file is this? Uh, it's not a text file. Um, weird, weird, the, the, uh, the leading, the leading zeros here in the file signature, strange. Um, it's a date. Is that when I started playing? You know, hold on, let me, uh, no, it's the same with level one and level zero. So. There's no signature. So this is some kind of, I'm just gonna take a look at it here. I'm just poking around, seeing what I see. Checking to see if any of this makes any sense. Oh, here I got some English letters, okay. Global game managers, assets, shared data assets, camera, screen, event system. Um, and then we have a value. And then we have a value, we have a value. All right, so. Vectors. Screen overlay. Hey, see, I'm seeing. So we see attributes and then we see value. Value, 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 attributes, search in this case. It's almost like this is configs or um, counters. What else could it be? Um, or something like that, like like a like a state recording of some kind. 
but why it would be by level because I am still just level one. Still level one. I'm still, I'm still very much level one. So why it would be per level, I don't know. Unless this is part of like the notoriety system or something that I haven't seen yet, where it's like Or, or maybe if, uh, I don't know how it works if you get a game over. I don't even know how to get a game over at this point, but I have read in um, some of the uh, guides um, that I picked up on Steam Community um, that a game over is possible. So maybe when you get a game over, you lose a level and it just kind of reverts back to the last, the last state you were in at your previous level. And that's what this is. It's like a save file. Could be. Uh, we have Lauren Ibsen. Huh. Why would there be placeholder text in this quantity? Is the quantity itself significant? Three E F. Um, no, not that I can tell. Strange. Oh, here we go. The server is installed on your remote machine. It is not accessible from the outside. Only from your LAN network. Open the router configuration. The browser is instructed by the installer server. So, oh, whoa, whoa! Is that what this? Bank accounts. Is that what this is? I think you're choosing this right field. This is the text from the sites. The station account, step five. Yeah. Okay, that's when we were going Yeah, look at this. Server's already configured port to two, which is why we have accessed. Huh, that's interesting. Still not convinced that this isn't some kind of state file, but um, what's the file size if we compare the two of them? Yeah, level zero is 404 KB. Level one is 2,958 KB. So this might be like, this might be a rolling state file and it actually remembers. Um, is this like storing, like when, you know, I'm, I'm not, again, I'm not trying to put together the pieces here as far as how things are uh, generated. Um, is it is this some kind of uh, state file for also what has previously been generated and displayed so it doesn't like inadvertently give me two um, mobile hospitals like we had last time? Port form. I don't know. I don't know. It does make me wonder though if instead of our bank accounts I do wonder if those values that we were looking to edit are in here Um, FN eight YP.
No. That was our beginning balance. No, okay. So this doesn't seem, I mean, a control F isn't you know, very conclusive, but doesn't seem to be really good. Well, you know, now I'm intrigued though. Now I kind of want to start picking this apart and seeing how it works on the inside, um, which I might do in the meantime. And when I come back for parts, eight or nine um i might have something to show for that anyway um let's check out see if there's any jobs we haven't done we did police record we did credentials academic changes uh we didn't do a get remote file yet but that's rep two we can't do that uh find and delete is a rep three police record we might have to do I have to do some more jobs in order to get our wrap up. Okay. Well, then I think that's going to be part seven. I think what I'm going to do now is I'll just do some jobs uh, offline here, get my wrap up to at least two so that we can do a new job, and I'll come back with a part eight where we will do a get remote file job, and perhaps we will start doing some reverse engineering here and see if we can cheat a little bit. Okay, see you on the next one. All right, so this is a uh, voiceover of Professor Johnson here. I uh, couldn't wait, couldn't resist, so I uh, started... I mean, <laughs> once I had an idea of what I had to do, I, I kind of had to follow through and, and see it to the end, so... Uh, what I did is I downloaded the utility DB viewer for SQLite, uh, that is the database format that the game seems to use, and I was able to find uh, within the DB file there, that is pretty much how all variables are being handled and recorded. As you can see, here's me uh, looking through the, um, was it a bank account uh, table or something? And then I get sidetracked a little bit. Um, I wanted to learn uh, more about uh, Loading Home, the game's developer, uh, because I noticed that the uh, tables and everything were in what appears to be Spanish. Um, so, you know, I was wondering if that's where they were based. So I went, uh, went for a little hunt here to see what I could see about them. It doesn't, I actually don't end up finding anything, um, if I remember correctly. Which was odd, because like, uh, you'd expect there to be like a website or something. So, uh, long story short on that one is that after a little bit of digging, I, I did find out that uh, Loading Home is a, a very small game studio. Uh, one person who, in the previous part of this video, um, I noticed uh, that there was a path in the log files that said Karuzu. Um, turns out that Karuzu is loading home and uh, has created this and that other game that you saw just a moment ago. So, a very small uh, game development studio. Oh, and they are from Spain, hence the Spanish attributes that we see here on the table. So here's me uh, just, just poking around a little bit. You can see right there is 913. That's the current value in my account. I do have Greyhack running in the background, so um, at this point I'm not actually doing anything or making any changes. I'm just checking it out seeing what the structure is like and we'll get to the good stuff with uh with editing it in just a moment but uh suffice to say um from what i can see a, a great deal of information regarding the game and its attributes and current state and everything are are all handled here um in this little database so um so before we make any changes of course the number one thing that we have to do is not work on the or uh, to make sure that we're not working on the original, or I should say that we archive the original. Um, so uh, we're gonna quick hop over, uh, make a copy of the DB file, and then um, start editing to see if we can give ourselves some extra cash here. So let's move forward to that. Looks like we also have, like the database also contains, as you can see here, Here's a password list that I somehow I came across. Uh, I don't know where this is coming from or where it comes into play. If they are, it's, it's a list of potential passwords for different things, like, for example, the uh, Wi-Fi signals uh, or Wi-Fi uh, um, 
networks that are that are available um but it's got a password list and then i saw the password one that i had used i don't know if that's normally in the list or if it's something that was added like it's you know kind of like also a key ring or or something like that um but this is in there um and uh, you can see there's also an id number there so I, I would have to go back into the game um and recently i deciphered a password which was raiders i would need to check and see if this is just a table that contains an md5 hash and then the plain text password and that this is what's being searched when we run um for example the decipher tool yeah All right, so <clears throat> poking around done uh, again. What we need to do is we we never want to work on the original. We want to make sure that we, if we're going to be making changes, that we preserve um, those. So uh, what I do is I shut the game down and uh, we revert any changes I might have made, so that we're back to the original here in DB Viewer. Um, then I will bring over the Explorer window. I will just. Control C, Control V, that DB file, so that we have a copy of the original preserved, and then I can freely edit the version I'm currently working on here. Um, so I'm going to uh, number one find that current value, which was 9:13. I'm just going to add a one, apply that change, and then write it to the DB file, and then we're going to restart the game. So as I learned um, after just a couple of minutes of poking around at this, uh, the database seems to be loaded um when the os boots up so if you make a change you might need to reboot in order for it to take effect so here i am getting back into the game here we got our bios post screens and all i did is i added a one to the beginning of that value in order to change it from 9913 9, to 1913 so we log into the bank account check it out and there we go 1913 so it seemed to be that easy we just edit that value in the database machine boots up we get our new value so job done and uh, considering all of the things that can be found in this database um what we're probably able to do here and i i haven't checked but from what i saw in the database file it also contains uh, the entire file system and uh, previous contacts, and I think there's user information and such in there, so we can probably also use this to change the reputation level and so on. Um, and here's me just uh, just getting a, uh, I'm just getting a, an exploit to make sure that the value is working, and yes, it did deduct the right amount, so it didn't revert back to 913 minus whatever I spent. So that does indeed, uh, contain that value and so now i'm going to go crazy and give myself a bunch of money and then go on a shopping spree so let's jump forward to uh to the finished results there since there's no need to uh to see me doing all of that all right shopping spree is done i'm going to go for the reboot so that uh all of that hardware changes take effect ah, you can see the uh the uh bios and post screens here change with the hardware configuration change and all that so um first let me check the balance in my account so you can see that i still have an absurd amount of money right i, I like how it changed it from uh regular to scientific notation so i got myself uh, a motherboard with three slots for cpus uh bigger power supply um hard drive i went with a nine gig i went with a faster speed uh, essentially rather than over the larger capacity i did uh at this point uh encounter a bug by the way um i, I got i got two wi-fi cards just because of this bug i'm about to describe um so the uh, the bug that i noticed is if you are in the game and you purchase hardware wait for it to be delivered don't install it but go back and then purchase that same hardware again you actually will duplicate the hardware so i actually purchased two ram modules uh, but ended up with three and uh and so on so uh, that's it um that's how how i ended up doing it there at the end again i would never do this in multiplayer i don't even know if it would work in multiplayer to be honest with you but if it does definitely don't um single player i feel it's okay it's just me i'm just messing around so um yeah 
Use 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 for the power of awesome only. All right, so that's it. I am going to do uh, a part nine on this because there's still a couple of jobs that I uh, I would like to try and then uh, probably try some multiplayer here for the white. But I am in the meantime going to hop to a new title. I think the uh, the next one that I'm going to try is known as Hex Hacking Simulator. So if you are interested in seeing that, make sure you come back for that. All right, bye.